Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Today we're working on another Ameritron AL80A. So this is getting a brand new Pentalabs 3500Z tube. Awesome customer service, great company, just great people over there. So needs a new capacitor on the plate side. Air variable capacitor, some of the plates are damaged. I'm going to add a serious glitch resistor to the board. I'm going to clean all the contacts and everything. I'm going to add gas discharge tubes at the base of the socket between the filament and ground. And uh, that'll be it. So I'm going to get to work and I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, I got a treat here for you. I'm going to show this one working also, show a kilowatt of output. So I have it on 20 meters. I'll show the frequency after. I know it's messy. I'll clean it up. Um, it's super busy. So when I'm done with this, I'll pull the cover off. Show over. I'll show you guys everything I did. I have a 1KW slug installed. P pick kit is on. Radio set to 60 watts. Hello, hello, hello. Audio, hello. Audio, hello, hello, hello. Audio, hello, hello. Tit, tit, tit. Audio, tit, 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 tit. It on current. I mean, uh, play current. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. It's my cat meowing in the background. Audio, hello. Power output. He wants his food. Anyway, so I will show the frequency. Okay, so customer asked to see it work on 20 meters. I always start at 160, work my way up. So I'm going to go to 15 and 10, and then when I'm done, I'll pull the cover and show you the inside. See you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL80A. I'll go over everything I did real quick. Added the series glitch resistor and a couple standoffs. Ran new high voltage cable to the bottom board to the B, -net, uh, B positive connection. Ran a new high voltage cable to the base of the plate choke. Tightened up on connections on this side. Cleaned the TR slash bias relay. Checked the SO239 connectors. They're good. I'll move over to the other side, change the air variable capacitor on the plate side, clean some carbon on the load air variable cap. Uh, I don't see any melting or anything, so tested good on all bands. So I'm going to leave it be. Cleaned the band switch with deoxy gold, tighten up on connections over on this side for the output network, added internal tooth crush washers for the connections on the plate tune air variable cap and some of these nuts were finger tight some of the brass nuts so that's about it so a few I also have to extend the shaft for the for the new air variable capacitor on the plate side and I did the rest of the 10 meter mod only half of it was done it went to 10 meters but the other half wasn't done so I got that done so uh, customer said he never tried it up there, so he didn't know. Okay, so if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. And the website is amprepairguy.com. I won't be making any videos for a little bit. I have a lot of other things I need to do. I'm doing some, some uh, uh, this week I'll be doing some on-site stuff. So I'm still in business. Give me a call. If I don't pick up, leave a message. So thanks for watching. Website again is amprepairguy.com. Phone number is 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. And once again, it's got a brand new Pentalabs 3500Z graphite tube. Great company, great customer service. Thanks again, 73.